My name is Anonia, and this is my challenge is. My mom's depression is breaking me. I can hear my son saying at the age of eight and a half. Maybe he did not know how to express this way at that age. But it was breaking him. You know, when I have realized that all I am doing in my own mind as a single mother is to raise a depressed child because I was depressed, that made get out of pressure. It didn't matter that for 27 years I suffered from it, that my mom died from it, that I had suicidal thoughts for decades. No, 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 that didn't matter. But when I saw that I am hurting unconsciously, my own child that has no fault and no guilt on the matter, I became like a lioness ready to kill someone. But who do I'm supposed to kill? Myself? I'm not going to help. I'm not going to help a child at all. In these kind of situations, where a mother either doesn't realize that she's depressed, or sees the child depression, but fights her own depression to get out. She's, oh, my child, there's nothing wrong with me. These kind of situations, unfortunately, I cannot interfere because it is impossible. A lot of times, and it's not 100% times, okay? It's just a lot of times. I would not have an exact statistic. When a child is depressed, so is one of the parents. So most parents that come to me and they say, oh, my child is in depression. I said, okay, one of the families is in depression. And most of them are pointing to grandmas. Said, okay, grandma on which side? Well, grandma on mom's side, or grandma on dad's side. I was like, okay, so now I found out who is in depression doesn't even know it, or bypass depression and think it's normal to bypass it. And now the poor child is feeling it. And if they agree to get out together, then I can help. But if they refuse to get out and it's, oh, just talk to my child, I cannot. I cannot. And I'm going to tell you one secret. Why I cannot? There are a couple of secrets, but I'm going to tell you one. When you live with a person depressed in your family, you can never be happy. You seriously can't be happy. Rarely, I have seen somebody that is totally happy, doesn't matter. And that is because they have some self-relationship skills that are extraordinary. But most people cannot. When one person is, is unhappy, especially a parent. But child, all it wants is to save the parent. So even if I'm teaching my child how to be happy, that's not going to last more than a couple of months. If that. Because the child will always go back to, but I want to save my dad. But I want to save my dad. Not realizing that from that position, child position, they cannot. And I'm telling you why they cannot, because I have tried it a million times with my mom. Trust, run to waste your life, don't go for it. Go for it, you will learn the lesson. There is no child that can help the parent if the parent doesn't want to. In these kind of cases, the only thing I can suggest is 
for my child to move out, out of my house for a period of time with aunt, grandma, whatever, who is willing to listen and to do our programs together with a child if the parent is not. But you will be surprised that a lot of parents, moms and dads, not only moms, realize that they have been through the same thing as the child. But they have learned to move away from that position. When I say move away from that condition and they have learned, this means for he stole the problem, stole the depression. It's just to leave it aside because this is the truth that as a parent, you have work and hold and children and you got to feed them and you got to go to the grocery store and you got to do laundry and you got to. They can't be hard. It's all of these things you really can't do while you're thinking about, oh my God, I don't feel like today because I'm depressed. You have to do that. You don't have a choice. So then you learn to leave it aside. You're turning to a warrior. Carries with depression with him all the time, but now never thinks about it. What parents realize this is okay. Now, let's solve it. Let's solve it for both of you in the same time. And sometimes it's not even both of you. Sometimes it's three, four people all together at the same time in the family. And it's very important because if one of them stays behind, drags everybody else with them to the same state that they've known all along and they're ever comfortable with. So a lot of times when I work with a child, I tell them, I'm not working with your child. I'm actually working with your entire family and I don't care if it's the uncle or the aunt or grandma or whatever. At some point, I might have to talk to them. You in or not? And I had families like several people that I got off in the same time because of that. Because everybody was in the same position. They had no right, none of them as adults, to put a child through this. Yes, they did unconsciously. No, they don't do it, did it through abuse with child or in any way, shape, or form. But unconsciously, we are so good in raising depressed children, we don't even realize as parents that they are taking the pain from our shoulders. They're trying to save us, and they don't know how. We don't realize it as parents, because we're busy surviving, providing, doing it all. Yes, a lot of times um, we're in dire situations like this where we cannot help with anti-depression A lot of times we can help when everybody's on it's easy to help when everybody's on board. What I suggest in the first case when we cannot help is that as soon as the child grows up and succeeds to move out of house, we can take them as adults as responsible for their own pain and then we can help. But otherwise, it's not working out. Unfortunately, it's not working out. This kind of pain is addictive and it moves from one person to another when living in the same house. And this makes it extremely complicated. Until then, I guess maybe therapy will work. But a lot of children are really without wanting to. Their relationship with their parents because of these situations. I saw it as my own child when he was angry at me because he couldn't help me. And that he did not want it to feel 
what I didn't even realize that it was what I felt. This is why we always suggest that the parents and the children work together with us to get everybody out, which is for everybody's good. This is my serious suggestion because then it's not going to ruin the relationship between parent and child. It's actually going to reinforce an extraordinary relationship. And then everybody's happy. And as they know how we did it, in case something happens, like a big event that puts everybody down, one of them is going to get up and remember what we taught them. And that's going to change the whole family because the relationship is already there. This is my take on it. And this is what we cannot do. And this is what we can do. You're listening to My Challenge Is Podcast with Anna Lanier. If you have a challenge in life, and if you would like to get your answer for free, make sure you go to mychallengeis.org for your free answer.